Today will be a short review of something that I really like. And before we start, let's take a look at this video here. We'll be testing out some new interesting equipment. Uh, this is a flip box and then we'll be testing out the microphone. And Togamesh will be having some nice photos that we can post at the end of the shoot. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. I'm Richard, welcome to Zappy Productions and the review today is the SMDV Flip Softbox. And the reason why I like it so much is because this is innovation. Yes, it's not super new in the market, but totally an innovation. So how long do you take to close a softbox? 30 seconds? 40 seconds? Considering that you need to, you know, remove the baffle, remove the umbrella, whatever. That's the amount of time you have, even with the umbrella type mounts. This, one second. Now, you just throw in a light case in your luggage bag somewhere and you're ready to go. You can also have a strap here you can tie around to just secure it properly. Now then, you can see how fast it keeps but how fast does it set up? Set up is a pain in the ass for a lot of softbox out there. Even umbrella ones, you have to put your hand in, open it up, then stick the Velcros and stuff. But this one, one second and you have a proper softbox with a sewed on baffle here. This is sewed on. You don't need to Velcro it. And the reason why SMDV can do it is because they close and open the softbox externally. As such, you do not need to put your hands inside to open up the softbox like Umbrella ones. That's the reason why you cannot sew on for those softbox there. Not only that, this is a double baffle. I mean, I can't show you, but it's inside here. There's two baffles in the softbox. Light coming out of this softbox is really soft, very nice. Now this is a smaller one, this is the 20, there is also the 24, 28 and 32, so it's 50, 60, 70, 80 cms. So they can go quite small to relatively big, all of them with the same flip function here. Now there's not only all these that is really great about it, firstly this is a sealed soft box, so no wind gets in, it doesn't turn and flies in the wind, uh, unless the wind is quite strong. It is quite safe to use this outdoor because it's totally sealed. Wind cannot get in and start pushing things around. Next, let's talk about how you mount lights on this. Obviously, this is a speed ring light design, right? You need an adapter. So, this is a flash with adapter. You're mounted in. How do you take it out? Mounted out. This is very convenient. I don't know why other makers don't do it. I mean, yes, they use Bowen mounts, but you still have to find some way to grip it and pull it out. But there is actually a simple one. You can just leave the adapter in there. Let me show you. You will probably pack it this way. And how hard is it to mount the light? With an AD100? Magnetic. If you want to ensure it's secure, press the button here. Secure. Well, not so secure here. Secure. How to unsecure the light? Press the button here. Unsecure. Now, you don't really need to do the secure because the magnet is really strong. If you're using 8100, 8200s, uh, V1s, and also I believe the Pro Photo A1s, they are safe. The magnet is really strong. Just to note that the 8200 don't fit into here because that head is slightly bigger. There is another mount for the 8200s and also the A2 Pro Photos. A2 Pro Photos have the hum that cannot go in, so that's something to note. So changing the adapter is very simple and there are a few adapters out there. This is the 8100 ones, there is of course the 8200 ones and then there is the 8300 version and the Forza 60. So there is quite a bit of option. You can just use one softbox for multiple adapters and they are easy to mount. They literally give you an adapter to mount most other lights. They are small. This is a small softbox, right? Now to mount the softbox onto a stand is also simple. Put it in here, twist, it's mounted. Tap on it, doesn't spin. So it is quite tight. Not the tightest in the world. Sufficient pressure, uh, or should I say sufficient kinetic energy of pushing will turn it. But tapping on it, light breezes will make no difference to it. To tilt the softbox, there is a button here. Press, tilt up and down. And if you want to use it handheld, unturn it, you know, unscrew it should be. Lift it up and you can use it handheld with your lights, right? Very simple. Now, if you are moving around with your light stand, normally for softboxes, you don't want to dismount it or remove it because it's very cumbersome. I mean, you can just remove the whole softbox and carry it side by side like this, but if you have a camera, that makes it really hard. So what you can do with this softbox, move it this way, travel wherever you want, 
put it back up. Simple, right? This is just convenient. This is just usability at its best. I'm totally in love with this from the aspect of usability. Photography products are really super usable. I mean, they are functional. They have nice form. But usable, eh, not really. A lot of soft boxes, a lot of the lighting equipment, a lot of cameras are really not very usable. That's the reason why people complain because I want to find something, I want to do something, it's just so hard. This is so simple. Simple. Usable. So then, what are the downsides of this softbox? It's hard to get in Singapore. The only way to get it is through online and you have to go through either Taobao or AliExpress. Next, it is really expensive. Singapore, cheapest price you can get is $180 with adapter and that is with taxation and of course shipping charges. This is very expensive that, you know, compared to other softboxes that is meant to mount speed lights, you could get them easily, you know, at uh, one quarter of the price, like $50. And then if you compare to something like the AD300 softboxes, the AD, ADS or something, this is still twice the price of those softbox. So it is expensive. <laughs> really, this is the downside. Expensive and hard to get. But other than that, it is light, it is nice, easy to use. And most importantly, if you are a traveler, you want to carry more than one of these, it flat packs. Now this is how slim it gets. You can even get slimmer by just removing the mount and using it separately. You can easily pack four of these in a light stand bag. And you can't pack four AD ADS softbox into a light stand bag. You can't even put more than two Bowen softbox in a light stand bag. Or you can easily put two, three of these in a light stand bag. It's convenient. And if you are intending to travel, this is also really light because they use good polycarbonate parts where it doesn't matter too much, you know. The only metal parts are the rig, I would say as the rods here because you need to be metal so they can hold out the softbox. If not, this is made of plastic. Not a big deal. Plastic is good when things are light. And especially the AD100, I don't see why you need metal parts here. Overall, I think this is a fantastic softbox. Other than the price and its availability, this is something that I highly recommend if you can afford it. If you cannot afford it, prioritize getting softboxes that fit your budget. Because light without softboxes are just hard to control. Lighting is all about control of the light source itself. If you need a softbox, get a softbox. If you need a reflector, get a reflector. If you need a beauty dish, get a beauty dish. Of course, there's something called para, but that's beyond the scope here. But if you have no money, prioritize getting modifiers. If you have money, you need something for traveling, you need something light, compact, small, easy to keep, you know, this is the one. Two seconds to set up, two seconds to tear down, flat packing. Fantastic. That's the boy for today. I hope you enjoyed this short little review, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.